My name is Mike Dodds. I'm a principal scientist in the Department of Pharmacokinetics and Drug Metabolism. Uh, I'm here to give a module on simulation to impact study design in early development. In terms of learning objectives, uh, we'll go over uh, the definition of clinical trial simulation. I'll spend some time talking about uh, some of the benefits and risks of performing CTFs and then try to address as best I can uh, some of the skepticism um, leveled at um, CTS and describe to you how some of the assumptions um, and uncertainties are integrated in this exercise. Uh, there are best practices and processes defined for CTS, and we'll spend a little time uh, looking at those. And I'll introduce you to some of the tools that are used to perform um, CTS. Then the bulk of the time will be spent on uh, some practical applications, uh, essentially answering the question, where and why is clinical trial simulation used? Uh, I'll end on speaking to where I think um, clinical trial simulation is heading, and I can't do that without introducing uh, the relationship to optimal experiment design. So clinical trial simulation, uh, in a nutshell, is in silico prediction of a trial outcome, given the trial design and the model for an outcome. Uh, this has been used in practice prior to 2000, um, but simulation has been used broadly in other areas uh, much more, much earlier than that. Uh, there's a nice reference here by Nick Holford and others, published in 2000, <clears throat> that speak to uh, simulation of uh, clinical trials. I think that's an excellent um, jumping off point if you're interested in learning more. Uh, essentially, though, CTS is a combination of, uh, of a design that you have in mind and a, a model for, uh, for that outcome. Uh, 